Put a story on. Let's see if we can catch him off guard. You have your con contender series win, mm. but back in the old uh, tough days, mm. they would say tough fighters weren't UFC fighters till they got that first fight. How do you look at that? I agree. Um, you know, I haven't got in there yet. I haven't been able to put the UFC shorts on. I haven't been able to do the real walk. I haven't been able to do all of it. And that's the experience I want, and I want to keep doing it. And I'm just ready to get the ball moving. You're a Dana White Contender Series guy. How long do you think it'll take for you to shed that label and just be right, Puna, right. the UFC fighter? Um, I feel like it's just going to take a few fights, you know. Um, with the way I fight, I feel like it's really easy to forget about that first contender fight and it's just gonna be you know this guy's here he's not he's no joke no slouch and he's ready to fight very few guys have gone their whole career without ever losing a fight you're undefeated what's your mindset are you the guy that will go undefeated your whole career or at some point do you sit down and say I know it's gonna happen it's just a matter of time um I honestly think it can happen like it can happen to anyone can happen to any fight but I just prepare my my best, my absolute best. I go in there to win, and you know I've just been fortunate enough to come out with the wins each fight. Two two thousand nineteen is almost over. Can you yeah. share with us what your biggest lesson has been this year? Biggest lesson. Um, I think my biggest lesson came from uh, watching the Paulo Costa and Yo Romero fight. I just. Biggest lesson is I got a long way to go. I got a long way to go if I want to be the best, you know.